ladies and gentlemen, I'm over at the Daily Mail talking about how mysterious interstellar asteroid Umamao could be a giant solar sail sent from another civilization to look for signs of life. Claim astronomers. Man, I would love to make an edited video out of this because my edited videos on the subject have been fantastic. But because, since we have 13 hours left, it's important to save Thor News to raise $200 so I can make a rant at 8 in the morning. I got to do one takers all night long. Work hard for my money. So, we're going to go through this story. And I'll probably be cussing. If you can't handle that, well, you better get the fuck out. Ooh, I'm sassy. It feels like I could lose everything. That's fine. Mysterious object, Umamao, arrived in our solar system in October 2017. All right, and this, so this is, this is the second story. I've reported the story I did earlier was on the DOD guy who left the Pentagon and the Department of Defense, and then the day after he left was like, oh my God, aliens are real. I barely didn't make any news. This barely doesn't make any news, and the whole time, in the other videos, I'll probably put a link at the end of this, it looked like a spaceship, it was shaped like a spaceship, it moved like a spaceship, it changed its trajectory like a spaceship, and they even called it the the first messenger. That's what Umamao means. So it's like, you know, the real news is out there. The, the media doesn't want to talk about it. You know, it's the same media who will say, oh my God, do you realize that in four years, 1,600 people have been killed by guns in mass shootings? And I'm like, oh my God, do you realize in the last four years, 160,000 people have died in car wrecks? How come the media and the politicians aren't like, y'all should drive your cars better? Y'all should stop looking at your phones while you're driving. You should be more patient. You should act like you don't own the road. How come the media don't do that? Oh, it's probably because it's not a way to divide and conquer people. And you might even unify them and make the world a better place. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. No one study claims it could actually be a solar sail sent by aliens. Okay. NASA spotted unexpected boost in speed and shift in trajectory as it passed through the inner solar system. So yeah, what other, what other information do you need, man? NASA said it, it pretty much took a turn and then sped up. Asteroids and comets don't do that. They stay on specific orbits. All right, a mysterious asteroid called Umamao, the first interstellar object ever seen in the solar system. Could be a gigantic alien solar sail sent to look for signs of life. A new study has claimed somebody cue Bill Nye. He's out there taking quarters out of kids' penny jars to get a light sail. You know, Bill Nye, what a guy. All right, Mr. Disney. Astronomers from Harvard's Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics analyzed the strange cigar shape of the object. Insert your own Monica Lewinsky joke here. And unexpected boost in speed and shift in trajectory as it passed through the inner solar system last year. They concluded that the strange asteroid might be a comet, is what they first said. And they're like, it might be a light sail of artificial origin. That's an interesting story for sure. What is a light sail? Much like a Wind pushing a sailboat to the water, solar sails rely on sunlight to propel vehicles through space. Can you imagine if we lived in a society where your car was propelled by sunlight? And you might be like, well, then it would only work during the day. But no, it's, you could store that energy up like a battery. The sail captures constantly streaming solar particles called photons with giant sails built from a lightweight material. Over time, the buildup of these particles provided enough thrust for spacecraft to travel in space. Man, this story is fascinating. If you do a lot of research like I have over a wide swath of multiple subjects, you'll see that at one point they say, hey, even if we did find aliens, people would freak out if we told them about it, so we don't know what to do. And the studies actually say the scientists would be the least ready to accept change, which is weird. Good solar radiation pressure explain Umamao's particular peculiar acceleration, which recently appeared online, was conducted by Shmuel Bialy, a postdoctoral researcher at the CFA's Institute for Theory and Computation. ITC and Professor Abram Loeb, the director of ITC, Frank B. Baird Jr., professor of science at Harvard University, and the head chair of the Breakthrough Starshot Advisory Committee. 
<sighs> that's a lot of people and they all sound super sciencey all right and they're all talking about this could be aliens and that's what I was saying I'll have to go back when I have time if you guys save my channel oh my hackers here hey hacker are you attractive what am I talking about now oh yeah yes the potato has the cutest butt of all time but Venus retrograde the researchers say the strange acceleration could this result of solar radiation pushing against the giant solar cell <clears throat> what the researchers say the strange acceleration could the, the result of solar radiation pushing a giant solar cell great job there they found a cell was only a fraction of a millimeter thick would be sufficient for a sheet of solid material to survive the journey through the entire galaxy wait I guess if they have super technology, then that would be fine. But it's weird how we, we always use our technology to try and figure out what the alien tech is. And, personally, I think the aliens gave us a transistor and have been here ever since. Or, they could just be controlling our people through radio waves. Not, like, mentally, but just getting in contact with people in higher positions of power, telling them how to build stuff, and then they're on their way. Or whatever. So we all need to unite together to be prepared to meet whatever challenges the aliens are going to bring us. And I, and I mean attacks. Light sails with similar dimensions have been designed and constructed by humans, including Japanese-designed Icarus Project and the Starshot Initiative with which he is involved. Consider an artificial origin. One possibility is that Umamao's light sail <clears throat> floating in interstellar space as a debris from the advanced technological equipment they wrote. Yep, so it could be a light sail, man. It could be aliens. They keep talking to us about aliens. The JPL team has not worked out how to power the craft. And many other ideas rely on technology that doesn't exist yet. Such as this laser sail being developed by the Breakthrough Project which hopes to make the same trip to Alpha Centauri. Alternatively, a more exotic scenario is that Umamao may be a fully operational probe sent intentionally to Earth vicinity by an alien civilization, they added. And they probably saw us and were like, oh my god, these people believe in the political system and voting to save everything. Get out of here. Or they were like, yep, they're here. But they will We'll send word back and then come get them as appetizers. Another option, which explains the lack of communication, a lack of any kind of signal could mean that the giant object is actually an alien shipwreck, which means there's either treasure on it or an alien virus that would destroy all of life on Earth. If not for two or three resourceful humans who would save us at the last minute. And I could be one of those people, so there's another great reason to support me, Thor of Thor News. Professor Lowe previously wrote in Scientific American, Umamao could be the first known case of an artificial relic which floated into our solar system from interstellar space. Well, it's too bad our space program is stuck in 1964 when JFK was murdered, or else maybe we could have retrieved, sent something out there to re retrieve it, or take pictures of it. But no, we haven't gotten one inch farther in space with man program than we did when we went to the moon. This opportunity establishes a potential foundation for a new frontier of space archaeology, namely the study of relics from past civilizations in space. Hey man, the International Space Station. That thing's a relic. Maybe they could start there. Finding evidence for space junk or of artificial origin would provide an affirmative answer to the age-old question, are we alone? I am, because I'm in a foxhole. You know, as your planetary defense commander, it seems best right now. Especially with everybody freaking out. This would have a dramatic impact on our culture, see, I told you, and add a new cosmic perspective to the significance of human activity. This illustration shows... No, it looks more like a spaceship, dude. It shows Uma Mao racing towards the outskirts. What if I was going to upskirt? the outskirts of our solar system. Can you imagine 
a perverted alien light sail spaceship. It's, it's weird. 2018 is weird. You don't know what we're dealing with here. As the complex rotation of the object makes it difficult to determine the exact shape. Complex rotation? Whoa. I got a bunch of jokes, but they get me in trouble. There are many models of what it could look like. Lisa Loeb told Universe Today, Umamao could be an active piece of alien technology that came to explore our solar system. The same way we hope to explore Alpha Centauri using Starshot and similar technologies. Well, it seems like we are way behind on getting our shit done. The alternative is to imagine that Umamao was on a reconnaissance mission. The reason I contemplate the reconnaissance possibility is that the assumption that the Umamao followed a random orbit requires a production of funny symbol 10 up arrow bracket 15 bracket such objects per star in our galaxy. This abundance is up to 100 million times more than expected from the solar system based on a calculation that we did back in 2009. A surprisingly high overabundance unless Umamao is a targeted probe on a reconnaissance mission and not a member of a random population of objects. The cigar-shaped object named Umamao was spotted by the Hale Ak Ala Observatory in Hawaii on October 19th last year. A NASA reconstruction of the outgassing of Umamao, the cigar-shaped object, was first spotted by the Hale Akalalaka Observatory in Hawaii on October 19th. God, you guys repeat the same sentences over and over again. Yeah, we know it could be light sail. You said that a million times. Its appearance and behavior baffled scientists. No way. And led to a speculation that it might be an alien artifact. No way. And now they have found it got a strange speed boost while passing through. So it doesn't sound like it's a dead pirate ship of aliens, man. It sounds like it's alive and it's functional. Now it's going back to report on it, what it found which has helped identify it as a comet. Telescopes first spotted the mysterious red-tinged object last October as it zipped through the inner solar system, which then had scientists screaming, Tholins, it's covered in Tholins. Since then, astronomers have flip-flopped, no way, between comet and asteroid for our first confirmed interstellar guest. Must add the good plates. Our high-precision measurements of Uma Mao's position revealed that there was something affecting its motion other than the gravitational forces of the sun and the planets. Said Marco Michelli of the European Space Agency's Space Situational Awareness Near Earth Object Coordination Center in Frasacchetti, Italy. And this dude is the lead author of the paper describing the team's findings. What is Uma Mao and what do we know about it? It's a cigar-shaped asteroid. It sailed past Earth really fast. It was first spotted by a telescope in Hawaii on October 19th. It was observed 34 separate times in the following week. It is named after the Hawaiian term for scout or messenger and passed the Earth at about 85 times the distance to the moon. It was the first interstellar object seen in the solar system and it baffled astronomers. It's like that one planet that's a Dyson sphere. Initially it was thought the object could be a comet. However, yeah, because like scientists a lot of times come out and the first thing they say is, don't worry, it's not aliens. The aliens told us to say that. However, it displays none of the classic behavior expected of comets, such as a dusty water ice particle tail <clears throat> or, you know, staying on orbit at a consistent speed. Hey. My hacker's back. I love her. She's hot in real life. I love you too, hacker. The asteroid is up to one quarter mile. Long and highly elongated. Perhaps ten times as long as it is wide. That's what she says. That aspect ratio is greater than that of any asteroid or asteroid observed in our solar system to date. But the asteroid's slightly red hue Specifically pale pink and varying brightness are remarkably similar to objects in our own solar system. I wish I always have them say, Tholins! This is an animation of it close up. See? That looks like a spaceship to me. 
around the size of the Gherkin skyscraper in London, some astronomers were convinced it was piloted by aliens due to the vast distance the object traveled without being destroyed. The closeness to its path of the journey of Earth and the fact that it changed its speed and direction like a spaceship. How many more hints do you guys need, man? Alien hunters at SETI. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence based at Berkeley University, California, said there's a possibility the rock was an alien artifact. And that's the thing, dude. Why are we trying to contact aliens if we can't even get along? You know? Why? Alright, they're all just repeating the same shit. How do we know it won't turn around and come back to Earth? It's a good time for humans to unite. Because not only do we have corporations, robots, and possibly aliens to deal with at the bargaining table, we are fighting among ourselves over the dip dumbest shit. Anyway, if you want to continue to support me and my endless drive to unite humanity to meet all these Earth weather challenges and the aliens, please be sure and donate today before 8 a.m. And you guys will save my butt at the last minute. If not, man, it has been awesome, and it has been fun, and it has been an honor, and I love you guys. So everybody stay cool. May God bless everyone. Let us live long and prosper together, and may the force be with you always.